You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Samantha, and Samantha, I tried to write it down and spell it. I'm going to let you say it. Say, say your last name. Yeah, my name is Samantha Lautzenheiser. There you go. I'll get it. If, if you come in on a regular basis, yep. I'll learn it. How's All that? Right. Sounds good. And you're from the Boys and Girls Club of Brockton, the fantastic Boys and Girls mm -hmm. Club of Brockton over on Warren Ave. Mm -hmm. um, you're the unit director. Yes. What does that mean? So that means that I uh, oversee all programs and operations that happen at the club. Okay. That's um, a busy job. It is. It is. And you have a good staff over there. Oh, people I have an that are energetic staff. and dynamic and want to be with kids. Oh, yeah. They have Teena to be. Teenagers, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is the toughest age in the world. What are the, what's the ages at the club? So we serve kids ages 5 through 18. Mm -hmm. So we have three separate programs that we do. We have our licensed child care program. Um, that serves um, ages 5 through 12, but the majority of our members in that group is 5, 6, and 7. Um, they have a designated area that they're in, um, focused more academically and curriculum-based. Um, and then we have our regular drop-in program, our preteen program for 8 to 12-year-olds. Um, now, they can come every day uh, for $35, one-time fee for the whole year, academic year. Um, How can you beat that? Right. There is no way because mm -hmm. there are other programs similar. Mm-hmm. It's nothing like that yep. for cost. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep, definitely. And so we offer a, a variety of programs. So, of course, we have homework help. Um, so we uh, make our members, it's mandatory, for at least a half an hour a day they're in a homework room. And if they don't have homework, they're doing something quiet, academic, whether it's a worksheet or maybe a, a, a brain game of sorts, um, something that's stimulating their minds. Um, and also gives the opportunity for the other kids who do have homework to complete it with a staff member. I wish I had homework help back in the day, especially for math. It's hard. Math, yeah, math is, is not, not my, my subject either. No, 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 it was not my forte. Nope. Um, and I know we do some of that over at Brockton Public Library. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. involved over there. That was my first job back in the day when oh I was in gosh. high school. Love that place. Um, there's, there's athletics there. Yep. We there's... have a variety. So we have athletic programs, and it's not just sports. So we do a lot of sports, but we also do, you know, relay races. And uh, Mario is our athletic director, Mario Lamar. He's been at the right. club for 13 years, mm -hmm. our veteran there. Um, and he's so creative. So he puts in, we have staff versus kids games where they play gladiator and obstacles. We have an imagination playground where kids can literally take these big foam blocks and create whatever they want to. Yeah. Um, and then we also have a dance room. So we have dance instruction. Uh, we have an arts and crafts room. We're going to start photography up here um, pretty shortly. We have our STEM lab, which is science, technology, engineering, and math, which is huge. It's all the buzz. Yeah. Um, so we have a 3D printer. We have these oh, HP Sprout yeah, 3D computers. 3D printer. I didn't know we that. We do. That's wonderful. It's awesome. It's so awesome. The kids love it. Um, and we have Lego robotics, so they can literally build their like their robots out of Legos and then mm -hmm. program them with our iPads that we have. Wow. Um, we have Chromebooks, so they can do coding and learn how to build apps. Um, and we have a computer lab as well, so we have drones. We have you know access to learning how to do Microsoft Word and Excel and PowerPoint. I heard drones. Drones, yep. <laughs> Are you doing anything with video with drones? Not yet. Okay, so, we got to talk. Yeah. Because Brockton is. A, it's a nice place. Mm -hmm. People like to beat us up. They do. Way too yep. much. You still have Brockton in your name. Oh, yeah. So do we. Absolutely. Some places have dropped it. It became a dirty word. It's not a dirty word. It's a great community, mm -hmm. and there are great kids and great adults, great mentors. Mm -hmm. um, we'll, we're thinking of, you know, there's some nice, you know, Brockton High is very picturesque. D.W. Field Park is mm -hmm. picturesque. There are some people that are playing around on Facebook, and I see drone footage, and I'm like, hmm, that would look good in our open for our oh, show. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, Got to be careful because there's safety issues with drones. Right, okay? right. Okay, that's probably mm -hmm. why, because um, I know a lot of people that bought them as toys back in the day mm -hmm. where they cussed a little too much, and they crashed them. Oh, yeah. They oh, crashed yeah. them. But, um, you know, people, like, I watch those aerial over America oh, yeah. mm -hmm. shows and over Europe it's and everything. It's so cool. It would be cool over Brockton. As a matter of fact, a little buzz around the Boys and Girls Club because yeah. that's a cool building, the yep. old armory back in the day. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, so you're right near the Arnone School. We are, Alden yes. B. Keith Field, um, the champion mm -hmm. charters over there. And, you know, downtown, you're part of the we downtown are, yep. community. Mm -hmm. How many kids are at the Boys and Girls so Club? So we average about 300 or 350 kids a day that walk through our doors. Mm -hmm. Annually, we have over 1,500 members that attend the club. 
Um, but it's a, most of it's a drop-in program, so some kids, they come religiously every single day after school, and there's some kids that come in the wintertime because they want to play basketball because we have traveling leagues or volleyball in right. the spring. So, but on average, And you have vacation programs, you have we summer do. programs, mm -hmm. a little bit for everything. I know you have staff. Yes. But you also have volunteers. We do, absolutely. And you're always looking for volunteers, Always, right? always looking for volunteers. So I would think the thing that people need to do if they want to volunteer, they probably have to know, they probably have to be Corey checked. Yes. Correct? Mm -hmm. But what's what's the process? Who would they contact over there? So would... I am the contact for any volunteers. Um, so I can be, you can call me at the club or send me an email, you know, whatever works. But then we can kind of have a conversation and see what the volunteers are interested in doing because we do have a variety of activities. What fit? Right, exactly. So um, your phone number and your email. Yep, so my phone number is 508-584-5209. Mm -hmm. And then my email, it's a little long, so okay. bear with me. Yeah. It's S-L-O-U-T-Z-E-N-H-I-S-E-R at bgcbrockton.org. Okay, they're gonna have to. We're gonna have to abbreviate your last name, right? <laughs> yeah, see, seriously. See, uh, we've done things over here like GM at BCATV.org. Yeah. Two of my That'd staff be ideal, now. That'd ideal, right? They're just using the first name. Yep. They don't want to do the last name. They're in. They're in a witness protection program, <laughs> but we won't talk about that. Um, and there's a, you guys got a fully functional website. I was so just going to say that. So my, yeah, my email is on the website. Which is, what's so the website? www.bgcbrockton.org. Okay. And while I have you here, because just in case I can't get someone back before mm -hmm. the date, you have your big gala coming up we do. in October. October 18th. 18th. It's a okay. Thursday night at 6 p.m. Okay. at the Quincy Marriott. Okay. And it's at the Quincy Marriott because you get a lot of fans. Yes. and. Unfortunately, right now, there's no place to do anything in Brockton anymore. Right. Yeah, no unfortunately. Function We'd love to have it in Brockton, but we just but don't. But that's a nice place. Close enough. It it's is. It's close enough. Yeah. A lot of things are going to Lantana and mm -hmm. Lombardo's and over there. Yep. I like the Quincy Marriott. They yeah. always have good food and stuff like oh, that. Oh, yeah. It's i got to figure out what's in the calendar over here because usually we help you guys promote it. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we cover it unless we're... Unless there's something else the same night. Yep. We, we, sometimes we have two and three things in the same day. So what message do you want to get out about the... Boys and Girls Club. I can tell how enthusiastic you yep. are and how much you love your job. Yep. No, um, yeah, I mean, I absolutely love it. It's the most rewarding job I have, and it's because we're serving our kids. Our future is in here in Brockton, and so I just want everyone to know that we have so much to offer. There's, I like to say that we have something for everyone. Every kid can find something here. Mm -hmm. They're a teen, and they need help with college access or career readiness. We have programs for that. Financial literacy, you know? So I just want to encourage, you know, parents to come and stop by. Check us out. We take a tour. Um, I have all my staff are prepared to take anyone on tours that want to take a look around. We have a one-week trial membership where kids can come in and try it, see if they like it, participate. Um, if they do, then they can sign up for the membership. Um, you know, if they don't, then I want to hear why not, and we can figure out how to get some programs in there that can fit them. I'm always looking for new ideas. And you, I know you have a volunteer board of directors. We do, that, yes. That helps govern the organization. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people. I know people that help found the club. Yep. And, of course, we got our own Jay Miller from, of course. from the Boys and Girls Club. Yep. So, Samantha, thank you for coming on. Thanks for having um, me. We'll have you back. Hopefully you're a regular guest in between all Absolutely. the things that you're doing. Yep. <laughs> okay, cool. I'll be back. Cool. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you very you. much.